Harry Melges, you were helming on the starboard side of the uh, America AC40 today. Another day of no wind, but it feels like you kind of got done what you wanted to do, got the boat out there and, and give it a little bit of a shakedown sail. Yeah, for sure. You know, as you said, there was definitely not much wind out there. I think uh, a few of the other teams were out there as well today, and I don't think there was much sailing going on, but it's been a while since we've been in the AC 40s, so it's good for us to take things slowly and make sure that we're ready for a bit of two boat sailing the next few months. We noticed um, a familiar but a new face to the team on the boat today um, in the trimming roll, Kyle Langford. What's the story there? Yeah, I think Kyle's here uh, just helping out the trimmers and getting immersed in the program, getting some time in the boat himself. Um, I think he's just here to help the sail development and everything. You've been helming the last couple of days. We haven't seen a lot of you from a recon point of view in recent months. Just tell us about your role in the team. Yeah, I think my role as a backup helmsman is more uh, focused on the AC-40 sailing and the two boating. So, as you saw, the last few months we've had Patriot on the water, so I wasn't sailing as much. I spent most of the time in the simulator and doing other stuff, but now I'll be back on the water, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> You're quite involved in the, in the youth, the American Magic youth team as well, I think. What's, yeah. the, what's the status on that? Yeah, so I'm kind of spearheading the American Magic youth team. Um, there isn't a full team assembled quite yet, but we're getting everything organized and we should uh, be on the water this summer, ready to go. That's a pretty exciting prospect and fleet racing rather than match racing. Is that something that appeals to you given your Olympic background? <laughs> For sure. I think, you know, just like we saw in Jeddah, it's kind of racing that no one's ever really seen before. Um, it's very fast, very exciting, and I've been looking forward to it for the last three years or so, so I'm very excited. Technical question for you. On the boat today, we saw the two uh, LiDAR uh, transmitters, receivers, whatever we're going to call them, on, on poles sticking out either side. Can you give us some idea of what the team is using those for? We've seen them on, on Patriots as well, obviously, and on the other teams' boats. Yeah, I think a lot of teams are just using them to measure different components on the on the yacht. Apparently, it's a really accurate way to assess what's going on with everything, and we're doing the same. Would it be specifically looking at sails? I'm not really sure, to be honest. <laughs> That's a fair question. Harry, thanks for sharing what you could. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. We'll just grab that microphone. Oh, yeah.